Alright, welcome back to another video, welcome to another episode of me trying out older, obscure kart racers. This one is very, very interesting, and I played this one a lot back in the day. Um, it looks like I played a lot of kart racers in my childhood, you know, when I was a child, and this one was one of that. And my goodness, I can't believe I'm playing it again. It's absolutely amazing. I got some fond memories here. CTR, the original one from the PS1, is what got me into kart racers. And then I played almost all the kart racers imaginable, man. And this one, ugh, mm, it's called Walt Disney World Quest Magical Racing Tour. That is a mouthful for a title. <laughs> For a kart racing title, man. It's gonna throw me in. What? It's gonna throw me in like a demo? Okay. Okay. No. Get the freak out of there. Get back into the menu because I want to check out what this game has to offer. Of course, I also checked your guys' comments on the Looney Tunes episode. And you guys, you guys really wanted to see some weird kart racers. I think some wanted to see the Lego kart racers, some wanted to see the Smurfs kart racing. I'm gonna get to all of it, but right now we are doing Walt Disney World Tour. So you basically got adventure, time trial, best times and options. So time trial, uh, we all know what it is. We've played Sea Action Field way too much, so <laughs> we've been busy with time trials. We know what time trials are, but adventure, it basically has an adventure mode, but that's nothing. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. We're, we're just gonna check it out. Well, hello there. It actually has a cutscene? Okay, I'm gonna put on my headphones. And today, I have a tale for you that's sure to make you smile. It started this morning when our friends Chip and Dale were out exploring Walt Disney World and, well, they let their curiosity get the better of them. It's actually pretty cool to see that there's an adventure mode in this game. The Walt Disney World Magic Machine. I've never seen such a So these two found a magic machine. What are they gonna be using it for though? Oh my god, it exploded because of some nuts. Wow, okay. Oh, I see where this is going. It's not exactly an adventure mode, this is just an intro telling you you need to collect a lot of pieces for a magic machine, a time machine, I don't really know. It's it's quite cool though, uh, you, you can't expect too much from a PS1 game, but then again CTR had a, a full-blown adventure mode. Um, okay, so we got Otto Plugnut, I, I don't know who any of these characters- Oliver Chickley 3, Polly Roger, Baron Carlet, Chip, uh, Amanda Sparkle, uh, Tiara Damage? And then Dale. So Chip and Dale. Wow, okay. It, it, it was called differently in Dutch. Uh, of course, I, I watched all the Disney uh, kind of series and movies in Dutch. Um, so the names, I, I don't really recognize the names. Oh, we got Bruno uh, Biggs and Mo Whiplash as well. A lot of characters, only a couple of characters to unlock still. Only three characters to unlock. You can basically already see them right here. This is the guy that basically told us a story, so... I'm not too sure who I'm gonna pick. I think I'm just gonna pick, um... I'm, I'm just gonna pick Dale here. So... Oh, look at this. Okay. These are all the tracks. We're basically racing all over Disney World. That's insane, bro. We got Big uh, Thunder Mountain. We got Speedway, Jungle Cruise, Pirates of the Caribbean. Splash Mountain, okay, these are basically themed around actual kind of events happening in Disney World. This is cool. This is really cool. Okay, we'll just start with the first one, Big Thunder Mountain. Alright, look at this baby. <laughs> I don't know how to how the controls work. And we're gonna we're go, we're off, okay. Oh my god, oh my god. I already got hit, okay. So far, it looks like it is going really fast though. Now, can you... Yo! Okay. You can you can actually drift in this game, but what the heck am I doing? That is my question. I am not even gonna drift, I think. 
Yo, these uh, these tracks are actually quite cool already. How do I use my item? Hello? Oh, L1, okay. Is this Aku Aku? Did I just get another Aku? I, I just got another Aku Aku, okay. <laughs> Yo, these tracks are actually looking really good, but I'm not too sure what I'm doing. Yo! This, we're in a cave right now, okay. I'm shooting nuts too. This is nuts. Okay, it looks like the uh, the drifting doesn't help doesn't help you too much. Was that one? That was one lap. Look at the minimap as well. This one is huge. Oh my god, I'm actually really hyped to be playing this one. Wait, 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 wait. What is this? What is this? What is this? I I, I kind of want to check out the shortcut. If this even is a shortcut. Hello? Yeah, okay, this is a shortcut, but... I mean, I'm still first, so... Technically, it worked. And the music as well. <laughs> I love it. I'm loving the music, bro. Okay, I collected one coin. It looks like you lose coins whenever you get hit. So I'm not too sure... I'm in a teacup! I'm in a... Oh my god! Yo, these, these power-ups are actually pretty, um, pretty unique. I'm dropping behind teacups, bro. Yo, this drifting is actually quite weird. When you press R1, you can basically go like this. <laughs> Yo, oh, okay, this is the, uh, triple mushroom kind of, um, I don't know, power-up from Mario Kart. Okay, what, what does, what do the hoops do? That's what I want to know. What? I am collecting sparkles as well, like, what the... I don't know anything about this game. Maybe you guys have played this game before. Uh, or quite recently. And you can basically explain to me what's going on, because <laughs> I need it. Alright, but I think... Oh, okay. I, th I thought I was gonna become a teacup again, but I think that's... I'm a frog?! Okay. Oh my god, this was actually way too close. Congratulations. Okay, we got first. <laughs> I was so surprised. I was a frog at one point. Okay. I mean, I, I gotta give it to this game. The power-ups are very unique. Alright, so you can basically get a piece to the magic machine every time you win um, in this game. So it's basically like the winning in CTR. And then you basically build the time machine or the magic machine and then the opening of Disney World can happen that's kind of what I'm what, I, what I'm guessing is the story of this game but of course it's a kart racing game so you can't expect a, a really good story in this but so far I'm actually liking it okay it looks like the next area looks it's gonna be blizzard beach or dinosaur I'm actually quite interested in the dinosaur one. Woo! Okay. Everyone is using the same cart now. Not too sure if that's uh, supposed to be like that, but holy... Oh my god, okay. Okay. We're inside the uh, pre prehistory, I guess. Oh my god, what... It I basically discovered a shortcut and I didn't even know. I don't know what I'm getting hit by. <laughs> what the heck is going on? We are inside a bloody volcano. Okay then. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. I'm just I'm just touching these guys and I'm wrecking them. Okay, I'm third. Woo! There's an actual dinosaur in here. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. I mean, the track itself is kind of bland, I'm not going to lie. There's a couple of dinosaurs in here. Can you stop wrecking me, please? I'm sixth. I need to be first. <laughs> I need to be first to get a... Ooh. To get an item. Yeah, there's actually a lot of dinosaurs here. I'm, I'm liking it so far. This is actually quite impressive for a PS1 game. Oh, big jump. Oh, shortcut as well. But because I don't really know the controls, it didn't really help out too much. I'm second. I still don't see the guy in first though. But we have one more lap to kind of catch up. And the music is getting more and more intense, man. Holy Jesus, what is going on? 
We're all toads. It's basically the time clock from CTR, I'm, I'm guessing. How am I supposed to catch up to the guy first, though? That is what I want to know. Man, these bots? Bro, they are... They are tough? I'm not gonna lie, they are tough? I'm doing e everything I can. Of course I'm not using the drift boosting too much. There's the guy in second place! Oh, or the guy in first place! I was so close. Give it another try, why don't you? I am not gonna give it another try. I'm gonna check out a different map because I'm not here to complete this this game. I'm just here to see what the game has to offer. And so far, man, I am enjoying myself. Even though, even though I I, I didn't get first, but that means the bots are actually quite quite difficult. So anyway, Blizzard Beach is next. I don't think we can uh, select any of these ones. Yeah, yeah, we can't. Okay, so we can select these two. So Blizzard Bleach, this. Let's go. Oh, snow track on uh, sco ski scooters. I'm not, not not too sure how to call that. What the heck is going on? Okay, okay. Yo, yo, yo. I am very surprised with the tracks. I am not gonna lie. I mean. I, I don't know if it's just me, but whenever I play a PS1 game, I don't actually expect a lot from it. I swear, the amount of times I'm being a freaking toad in this uh, episode is too damn high. It's playing Christmas music in the back, okay. My goodness. This game so far has one of the largest tracks I've ever seen, I think. At least for a PS1 game, but there we go. This one is, this one is kind of the sh like a shorter one, I guess. Everyone is still so close together; it's insane. So far, we're do wait. I'm second. I thought I was first. I'm gonna have to shoot my nuts. T what the heck is going on? Why is the guy in first always so damn difficult to to catch up to? Okay. I take back what I said about the power-ups in this game. They are annoying as... <laughs> actually, no, they're they're actually quite alright. Take my nuts! Come on! There we go. Oh, those nuts are heat-seeking? Okay, snowman. Please don't... Oh, I got hit two times already. We're getting close to the finish. And so far, I think I'm the only one that is uh, in the lead. We, we don't have anyone close to me, so we should get this, uh, we should get this victory. There we go. First place finish. Perfect. Now, I'm curious to see if we can get one more area, because I kind of want to race one more race before ending this. Bang. And it looks like... Yeah, it looks like we can't. We need to... Yeah, we need to actually... Get first place on this track. Okay, then. I mean... I'm not too sure if you guys want to see more of this. I really want to... Um, record more of this because I had a lot of fun recording this episode. There are, I think, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 tracks in this game. Which is really cool, but... In terms of content, for a PS1 game, it's alright. You have basically 13 races that you need to become first, and then you have time trials. Where you can always better your time trials. Time trials is just endless, but... Other than that, it doesn't have anything, so in terms of content, I would say it's not really too big. It doesn't have a lot of content, but in terms of gameplay and controls and stuff, it's really satisfying. It goes really fast, the tracks are really cool to see. So, yeah. I would give it, like... An 8 out of 10 for being a PS1 game. I thoroughly enjoyed it. And if you guys want to see more, let me know down below in the comment section. But for now, I will end the video right here, right now. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like if you want to see more. Then subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video.